Hi everyone, welcome to our fortnightly report on our 3D audio library palace. This is supposed to be the weekly report, but um, we was a bit busy, so we will summarize the changes in the last two weeks. So on the API, we changes the message handler, a few other implementations. Uh, now we now we have catch and free functions, and the enumerants are handled um, uniformly. We also added a few examples and some tests. The current coverage is fifty one percent. Thanks to the newly updated API, we can now start to use the library in real life projects, uh, notably in uh, my game Brutal Maze, which will be showcased shortly after. examples are latency and tone chain. While the latency example shows the hardware latency that the audio playback suffers, for example, a few dozens of milliseconds, the tone gen is um, much more interesting. It can generate multiple waveforms like the sine wave, a square wave, triangle wave and many more. This is thanks to the ability to derive the base decoder to create custom one that contain the waves that we wanted. In other news, our documentation also got an overhaul which separate the reference into a multiple section. This is now easier to navigate. Last but not least, our test coverage bumped to 51%. This will be improved soon as uh, Ling is writing more tests. Happy with the um, current changes, we published a new release uh, 0.1.2 to BP. And that's it. Um, take care, everyone. Stay safe.